Definitely honored and excited to be leading Georgia Southern in its first bowl game in history. Uh, it's definitely a privilege and an honor. I uh, look forward to leading our staff, program, university, uh, to Mobile, and hopefully we'll be prepared and execute on game night. What do you feel like are the biggest challenges going into this? Uh, just the preparation while we're in Statesboro. I think those three days here are going to be very vital to lay the groundwork and get a bulk of the game plan in because once we get to Mobile, there are going to be uh, activities for the players to attend and as well as the coaches. So it's going to be relaxed moments and a time for them to have fun. And they got to retrain and, and get focused when it's time to work. So I think that'll be probably the biggest challenge. And we don't want to take away from, from that aspect either. So it's a situation where we're going to plan to win and prepare as best we can, but have fun at the same time. How do you deal with the distractions of who's the next head coach going to be? Uh, you re really can't have that as a distraction. My job right now is to pre prepare the team best as possible and uh, try to lead us to victory on Wednesday. But of course, that's got to be on some of the guys' minds. How do you re how do you have to approach that though, or address it? I don't because uh, we got great winners in our program. Got great senior leadership, and I know they're very. Uh, thankful to be playing in, in Georgia Southern's first bowl. So getting them motivated to perform well won't be an issue. Do you feel like all the coaches are totally focused on this game with Bowling Green? All our coaches are totally focused and they're going to put their best foot forward. Uh, we met uh, over the weekend and we're still meeting, implementing and preparing the game plan. I don't see that being a problem at all. The task ahead, playing against a team like Bowling Green, they score a lot of points, they throw the ball all around. Your thoughts on playing these guys? Uh, it's definitely going to be a great challenge. Uh, they're very uh, explosive on offense. The quarterback is very accurate, uh, and he can run. Has a little running ability as well. Uh, they have two uh, running backs that have combined for over 2,000 yards of rushing. Uh, they got. Tremendous receivers. They spread the ball out, so it's not one particular guy that you can focus on. So their offense is a definitely great uh, challenge for our defense. Uh, and defensively, they're very solid, very solid. Uh, improved drastically uh, from last year, and and in, and in the kicking game, they they have great schemes and present a lot of problems in that area as well. I know it's been a couple of years, but how much are you drawing from your experience as a head coach on the high school level and what you're doing right now? Uh, when it comes to football, football is football and leadership is leadership. Uh, I've, I've led teams before, so that's not nothing that I'm shying away from. And, you know, uh, that's the fun part of football, being a competitor and getting kids prepared and making sure the coaches and the entire program is on the same page. Do you feel like the recruiting is in a good place right now? I know it's coming up on the dead period right now. It is, but it's very tough uh, with the transition. Uh, we're trying to make sure we hold on to our commits right now and uh, make sure we stress to them that all commitments are still being honored and this transition of the next head coach is going to take some time and just be patient and hopefully the university will hire the right person for the job.